didn't have the success that he desired. Had some injuries that slowed his development, but he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. 16 yards on the game's first look at a third down. Here's Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 you yards. See, they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20-plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And they do get him to record. And they made the conference championship game in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time ever. At the center of it. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there. And now Tannehill. Now the ball comes loose. And the Bengals grab it. Just picked it off to get the football. They fumble it right back. <laughs> they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. And yeah, they'll take possession already in the red zone. In a... They could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Henry again on second down. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, his first touchdown on the year. And the Titans had six to their lead. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shy to wait. Third and two, now Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. Those big shots downfield. They'll fake the jet sweep and go play action with Burrow. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first. First and 10 at the 47. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And well, they're able to work this to the 20. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. Pushes past him. Wiggles free. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. 16 goal. Here's Tannehill. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Titans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What yeah, you, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know? <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Some helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it. And now Burrow got to be intercepted yet again. Picked up by Caleb Farley. And the Titans are going to take over at their own These two first downs, because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they've all stringed together a nice drive. They helped themselves out. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way for Tannehill and the Titans. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Tannehill.
Jonah Hill. And he's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And he's got another first down as the tackle. A three score deficit waiting for them at halftime, unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. And got his man complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. To Mixon on the check down. And brought down this down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Melvin Ingram able to get in there for his second. Execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the down sticks. Absolutely. He was right there by him. And I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, guy catch it first because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Boxing gloves start to try and pound him into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Oh, some strong running. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal. His good running gets him down to about the fourth. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Spears will take this into the end zone for a Titans touchdown. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how to the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turn. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Titans are going to get the football here at their own 23. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway cut. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. And the defense coming through on third several down. things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room. And they're going to speed things up here. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Titans are going to take over here up near the 40. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five On third down, Henry. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 125 yards. He said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was to being over. And they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now Burrow on first down. He's across midfield. And down to the 29-yard line. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Here's Burrow. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And down 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after.